G'day everyone, Diesel here for Get Around Oz, Camper Trailer Travelling. Thanks for joining us and today's video is a... Uh, I guess I just want to have a bit of a sit down chat and go through a couple of things for you regarding the channel, the status of the, the Ranger and the mods there, what's going on there, what's going on with the Bajero, keeping it, selling it. And I'll share a little bit of information regarding the trip that's coming up as well and um, obviously I have some questions for you, looking forward to some feedback. But I don't want to keep you here too long for this one. Grab yourself a drink, make yourself comfortable, let's get into it, cheers. Well, how are you? Well, there's a conversation starter. Do you prefer your drink with ice or without ice? I know it's um, <laughs> it's been a, a conversation around the campfire for myself and some friends, but um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. But for me, I think uh, ice is just a bloody waste of space in the glass and it just waters your drink down. I've got ice right now because this uh, Coke can here is actually warm. I actually um, failed to bloody get one in the fridge and ready to go for this, so my fault, but yeah, I don't know, man. Ice, I don't know. I don't see why you bloody need it. Yeah, let me know what you think. This is the sort of thing I normally do on my Patreon channel, and if you're interested and maybe wondering what it's about, um, you know, feel free to, to check out the seven-day trial. There's um. You're not locked in. There's no contracts and that sort of stuff. If you're interested, there is a like there is essentially three tiers, and you can pay month by month and jump on and try it out, jump off, whatever. It's up to you, but it's a little something extra for those of you who want some extra bit of content and some more behind the scenes stuff. And, and if you haven't already, grab yourself a, a drink, a beer, cup of tea, cup of coffee, soft drink, whatever it is. And I don't intend to to keep you here that long. There's not a, a massive amount to talk about. I want to try not to crap on. Regarding the range, I haven't done any upgrades or mods since the trip. I've just been too bloody busy and had too much going on. And look, there's still a bit to do, but I guess first, I just want to say thank you to a few people. So, so first, I've got to thank Adam from Wholesale Automatic Transmissions, um, who helped us out with the uh, transmission cooler. And then we had Daniel at Grunt 4x4. So we had the, the mat for the tub in the back of the canopy there, and we've got the seals and the struts. Then we had Lizzie at Airbag Man for the airbags in the, the back of the Ranger there. And also another special mention to Stanley at Vic Off Road. And you know, they've been with me a little while now and I've had a, a chance to try it, quite a bit of their gear. And, and on the Ranger here, we had the, the roof rack with the light bar. We had the spotties on the front there. We had the seat covers. We had the towing mirrors. And we also had the fridge slide as well. And we'll see if I forgot something there, but I won't give it away now, all right? I'll, um, You'll have to watch the trip series to find out how it's all gone and you know the pros and cons of the performance as such. But um, also make a special mention to Bennett Snatch Traps Australia. I've actually got a, a lot of Snatch Trap gear and um, bits and pieces that, well, thankfully I haven't had to try it yet. But if I do get a bit of strife, I've got a bit of gear there to, to help me out. But um, you know, we'll see if uh, the time doesn't come up soon when we try that one out. In regards to the, the Ranger itself, there's definitely more that I want to do for sure. Absolutely far from done. Again, I'd love to hear from yourself what you might have done and what you like and recommend I should do. Uh, a few of you have got back to me in a few things and I really appreciate that. And I've definitely taken those into consideration. You know, we're looking at a still looking at an awning rooftop tent was something that sort of come into my mind recently i traditionally liked a swag but i don't know might be open to the idea of that one suspension wise yeah not sure it's all fairly stock at this point other than the airbags in the back of the canopy there there's no 12 volt system at all uh there's no fridge yet i had to borrow a mate's fridge for this trip coming up and you know as the what i use in the back as for power in the, in the back of the range there i'll um show you in a couple of videos time on the trip there where i do a run through of our touring setup essentially you'll sort of see what i'm doing there but i don't have a permanent solution yet there's no 12 volt setup in the the back of the range there shelving uh those types of things is definitely some things I'd love to do, but I haven't really sort of settled on, it, on anything yet. And, um, you know, the I definitely haven't had the time to, to look too much into it. So, yeah, we'll sort of see what, what we do there and how we do it. I'd love to hear some more ideas because there's, there's a lot of different ways to do it, that's for sure. Yeah, the big trip. That one should be live for you next week. Now, I am going to try and get back to regular time slots and 
I think I like the Monday afternoons or Monday evenings, depending on where you are in the country. Yeah, they've been a bit all over the shop recently, and that's just kind of how, I guess, it just reflects my life. You know, I've been very bloody busy. It seems to be a lot of things happening around me with the people around me and the people in my life, and unfortunately, that's um, meant that I've been pretty stretched uh, personally. So question I have for you is, do you prefer weekly videos or happy with fortnightly videos yeah i haven't really sort of settled myself i did sort of go on you know i guess the last month i've done with the camper videos i've been doing those every second week and i guess they've been they've been popular but i'm not sure if you know that's because of the the topic or uh because of you know it's been every fortnightly with some other bits and pieces in between so yeah not too sure let me know but a quick summary is we went away for basically the month of April um, across the country and it was not a planned trip and it wasn't a trip that I wanted to do but it was a trip that I had to do uh, and there was some probably some changes before we did that trip but we definitely made the most of the opportunities that we had definitely had a good time with uh, the moments that you know that we were able to so I haven't watched any of it back yet so I'm not sure how the the filming side of it has turned out but um but going over and coming back, we really tried to capture some sort of different camping experiences. You know, going over, there's certainly a way that we did it. Uh, we were kind of in a bit of a hurry to get there, but obviously coming back as well, we sort of just tried to change it up and really sort of try to show some different camp experiences. Yeah, definitely had a few challenges as we always bloody do. That's, um, look, that's just the nature of uh, camping and, you know, getting out amongst it. But yeah, I reckon yeah, you're going to enjoy that. Uh, we didn't record where we were, where we were staying. That was more personal time. But heading over and going back, filmed all that. And, you know, there was, look, it's probably two weeks where they're driving and camping sort of stuff there. So um, definitely plenty of content to come on that one. So like I was saying off the back of the weekly first the fortnightly videos, there is still going to be some product reviews coming up. I've got... Uh, two bits of gear namely that I've been testing and something else that I need to test that um, I'm sure will be very interesting for you um, I do want to do a kind of a performance review on the camper trailer electronic stuff because I mean the, the experience with this first what we had before so different and so much better but I've had a few questions in regards to how they work and what they're like and you know we we put these on at the start of the year and i actually had a good chance to test these out and see what they're like now so i want to probably do a little series at some point about those just each one and um if you've got any questions about those let me know and i'll make sure i try and cover those off in the in the video for you so next one is the pajero um it's fairly likely we'll be selling the Pajero. Nothing is um, absolutely locked in, that's for sure, but it's fairly likely, I guess. How practical is it to have two four-wheel drives? Um, I guess, how do we end up with two four-wheel drives? So the, the, basically, I wanted to upgrade from my sedan to I mean, you know, my four-wheel drive because the, the Pajero was more the... The family car was more Anita's work car, essentially, but we got that, essentially, to do the big lap, but, you know, I sort of, I don't know, time to, you know, sort of change some things up, and, you know, it's sort of a bit of a hard one, I, you know, the thoughts of selling that Pajero is definitely sad, you know, I've had a, a lot of good times and a lot of pretty fantastic experiences in that, so, did want to do some things with that um you know like some sort of ranger slash pajero comparisons i uh, have definitely had a few questions from is about the differences what it's like you know uh, i guess maybe it's more uh, a transition it seems to be from a pajero going up to a ranger i guess just because of the price point and the technology perhaps but got some things i want to do there but again in the comments let me know what you would like to see um, I'm definitely keen to do some more things with it. It's just kind of on, you know, sort of challenge for time, but we'll sort of see how that goes. So, but um, I will say as well, if there's anyone interested in the Pajero, because uh, you've seen you've seen what we do, you've seen what it can do, and we've seen what we've done with it. So, I know if you're in the, you know, you're in Perth or 
um, of the area, yeah, let us know if you're interested, and we know we'd uh, we'll be keen to have a chat with you. But yeah, likely that one will be going, and the Ranger will be the the vehicle um, going forward for the channel, and the camper trail. The camper trail is not going anywhere. Um, I just can't afford it. Um, but the camper trail again going across the country. No, that was great for us, and it suits us. That's we're not caravanners at this point in time, and don't have the money for a, a bloody caravan. Um, as nice as that would be but it's just not there and um, you know the Robson still doing a great job for us and the electronics set up in that uh, is is really good and it's definitely opened up our camping opportunities for that one so we won't be anything changing there all right so now that I've thanked the sponsors of the channel and the Ranger set up I want to say thank you to you, you know, the viewers, the supporters, everyone who's, if you've even taken an interest in our channel, um, that's great, honestly, but, you know, the interaction, the, the comments, the, the feedback, the, I've run into people uh, just in my personal life, um, out of the blue, completely unexpected, and it's definitely not something you ever think might happen, um, and for those of you, you know, I've said g'day to and I've just met um you know whether it was looking for our car or in a street or you know wherever it's been um it's not something i'd ever sort of planned um to happen or um i ever thought about much but everyone who supports us and watches our videos and drops likes on videos and comments and those types of things thank you sincerely thank you it's without without you clearly this this channel wouldn't still be going that's for sure with like your support is so motivating it's doing this is great for me like it's a great outlet from from life stress work stress to you know either do editing filming um getting out camping especially is the the, the best part of it clearly but it's um it's just a really positive bloody thing in my life and you know i've gotten to a point now where we're, we're not making money but we're making enough money to to keep doing it so to speak and it's not coming out of our own pockets and um, you know that just doesn't happen without you know your support and watching videos and you know subscribing and those types of things so um, to all of you thank you and again if it's if you're looking at more content and you know like for our trip I definitely like wherever we go we sort of record some different bits and pieces just for the spot just for the patreon um, channel and you know it's a little bit different it's a bit off center but it's just a different look at stuff that you know just doesn't work for the main video and but I, I definitely feel very lucky to to have an audience like you you know that what whatever form it is it, it doesn't matter it's it's all positive it's all uh, appreciated at this point in time all the social stuff um, you know the channel it's it's all going pretty well it's all been received pretty well and you know the with there's still more people coming on board more sponsors coming on board and you know it's lots more camping and experience stuff to come that's for sure and i'm definitely motivated at this point to to keep going and i'm, I'm really enjoying it i'm really looking forward to start getting stuck into the editing for this trip series um re-watching a lot of this, this stuff record is you know some of the most fun stuff there is and i can't wait to, to start getting stuck into it and i can't wait to start sharing it with you and and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and make sure it's on a, a bit more of a regular basis for you. But again, if you're not already, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and, and uh, you know, let us know what you think. Remember, a lot of this sort of stuff here is for you. There's definitely a lot of stuff I do for me, but, but let me know what you wanna see. Let me know what you're not seeing more enough of and let me know what you're probably seeing a little bit too much of. It's all good, I can handle it. And but anyway, I got a nice big bloody dirty roast the Weber there and can't wait to get stuck into that. and and uh, start fire up some gravy and can't wait to get out there and start showing you more camping um, next week is it can't wait to get into it cheers guys